following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Welcome in to another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day to give my video a watch and a listen. If you like it, like it. If you think other people are going to dig it, give it a share. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification button for the live stream notifications. And, of course, smash the like button. If you have a band song video, something you want me to check out, the only place I go to get suggestions, the Discord server. It is your one-stop shop for all things wild side. On the left-hand side, YouTube reaction request sub. Click the sub, drop a link with a brief description of your suggestion in there, and I will get to it when I can. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to See and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Today's suggestion is coming from Aether. I hope I said that correctly he said hey man you need to check out empu side project so today we are checking out brother fire tribe i don't really know anything about him so i'm relying on you my sherpas on this new music mountain of mine to guide me along the way so let me know down below with everything i need to know about brother fire tribe and this is a track live at the apollo heart full of fire and if i'm not mistaken annette is doing the vocals in this so correct me if i'm wrong but that's uh that's what i was told let me know down below with everything i need to know it's heart full of fire and this is brother fire tribe and we're going to check it out on the wild side here we go
Well done. I like that. I like that. That is Brother Fire Tribe, heart full of fire, live at the Apollo. Let me know down below with everything I need to know about it. Oh. They tricked me. All right. So I don't know if, if is she a full time member or is that was that just like a guest spot? So let me know down below with what I need to know. Brother Fire Tribe, heart full of fire. That is a fun, straightforward, blues based mainstream rock song. Rhythmic. That's an active rocker. That's a great track right there. It really is. And even though when I say the word formulaic. I don't want you to hear it the way you may hear it normally. Just like with mainstream, I'm using them the opposite way. So this is how you build and create a good blues, a really good blues-based, straightforward, mainstream rock song. This is like Billy Duffy in the cult. This is in excess. It's just straight rock and roll. Perfect. Not too much, not, a, you know, there's nothing lacking. There's nothing dominating and, you know, dragging through. All of the changes are, are, are nice and crisp and clean and rich through the textures. And even though it may seem like the good formula, like a good mainstream, it's still subtly complicated because of how the musicians are playing. So the drummer, while yes, it's a straightforward rock beat, rhythmic rock beat, and he's doing a great job of creating the saccadic rhythm that you want with a track. It's keeping you involved. It's moving forward. There's a great pace to it, good cadence. But yet within there are these cool little subtle rolls and fills that he does with a plum that make it almost sound like a throwaway. But they're not. They're very intricate. They're very detailed. And I like that. I like how the keyboard is harmonizing with that rhythm guitar player. Really cool how they create that um, old field John Carpenter kind of vibe, keeping that symphonic vibe in there as well. And the bass player, yo, man, that guy was was hitting it hard. He was bringing that, he was helping that cicadic rhythm. So the bass player and the drummers are really the ones that are creating the impetus of a track. They're, they're laying down that foundation so that the vocals and the guitars and the keys can weave their way, play the little double dutch, with them but they need that foundation there and that bass player was really really tight in a really good pocket with that drummer so when the drummer was making his cool little fills and rolls and doing what you would think would be impromptu movements the bass player was right there with him in that pocket to make those changes with him and keep it moving forward while not dominating the space for too long um, as far as Empu goes he's in my top 10 uh, he has he has found his way into my top ten, and it's it's I, I, he's I don't want anyone to to mishear me. He is the Swiss Army knife of perfect tone. Whatever you need, what do you need? I got you. What kind of sound? What kind of song? No matter what it is, it could be a jazz. It could be a progressive jazz track. He's got that for you. And what he creates here is this really sweet generational bridge, a generational tone bridge. So you have this certain expectation in your own history of listening to music. It's your, it's your tastes. It's your preferences. And these tastes and preferences establish a predictive foundation for your listening. So when you're listening to something new, even though you've never heard it before, you will seek something within that modernity that attaches itself in a tether and as a lamprey to your history, to your own preferences. And that guitar tone in this track does exactly that. So it's one of those, I, it sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. I know the sound. I know the solo, right? Like it's, it's very comfortable with me. I'm safe in this space, even though it's new. There's a, there's a, um, a historical and legacy connection that you're able to make with the tone because some tones are, are just indelible. They'll never go away. 
And Empu is that guitar player that no matter what tone you need, regardless of what you need and for how long and how dominant, he has it for you perfectly, better than anyone else. And what I like about him is, is that he, he kind of, I think in a way, may not suffer. That's not the word I'm looking for. But I think sometimes when people see him play, he has what I call the aw shucks look. The aw shucks look. A lot of country musicians have it, especially back in the day. Roy Clark, Ry Cooter, people like that, um, Jerry Reed. When you go back and watch them play Glenn Campbell, when you, uh, Mother Maybell Carter, the, the real epicenter of heavy metal progression comes from Mother Maybell. So when you watch them play, you know, Earl Scruggs, any of them, these foundational progression establishments they have this aw shucks look if you watch roy clark play he's he's just got that you know buck owens just get well his name's buck so buck Owens. he's just got that all shucks disposition when they play but if you can put that aside if you can look at empu bouncing around and being his little um elfish self um his little mischievous ways when you can put that off to the side and really pay attention to what he's doing it's, it's absolutely incredible how he's able to capture those tones so perfectly the way that he does. But I do want to say something about that male vocalist. Again, I don't know. I'm not familiar. Let me know down below. I love his vocals. Yo, man, those are straight. That is right in my wheelhouse of, of legacy tone. Perfect. Bro, that's the sound coming out of my cassette deck in my formative years. So that's how close that, that vocal connected to me. And I love Annette's vocals. Annette has a really good rhythmic rock vocal. She really does. She's the perfect vocalist for rhythmic rock. Really. Mainstream rhythmic rock. You're not gonna, you'll get some better. I'm sure you, everybody disagrees. But I love her vocals. Um, I really do. I think she's got a great presence. There's this cool heft and gravity to her voice. Yet there's still a guilelessness that creates this really cool vibe of warmth and security. But that dude's vocals, man, I really like them. I really do, man. Those were, that was like a, that dude's vocals were like a pair of jeans I've had for 40 years. Yes, I, I do have a pair of jeans I've had for 30, I think. Um, but like my, my jean jacket, you know, it just, it's me. It's a part of who I am. It's a part of the very makeup of my DNA is that tone. And that guy captured it perfectly. And I like him, man. He's a good front man. Uh, he's got a really good presence to him and that energy that he has comes through in his vocals and it adds a little bit different of an ether and energy to what he's already creating. So he's creating this really cool, rich, historic texture, but he's also giving you this really sweet energy around it that moves you forward throughout the track. So very well done. Thank you to Aether. I really hope I said that name correctly. He got me. They got me. I'm going to say they. They got me the suggestion over on Discord for Brother Fire Tribe, and that is Heart Full of Fire. So thank you very much, Aether. If you have a suggestion for a band, song, or video, get over to Discord. On the left-hand side, YouTube Reaction Request. Drop a link in there with a very brief description of your suggestion, and I'll get to it when I can. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to See and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Thank you to all of you for taking time out of your busy day to hang out with me on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this is The Wild Side. <laughs>